Good morning, student. Yesterday we have seen uh, question number eight, exercise ten, up to question number eight. Now we are going to discuss some more questions. Exercise ten, question number nine is there. See here. Find the position vector of point R, which divides the line joining two points P and Q, whose position vectors are. 2a vector plus b and a bar minus 3b bar externally in the ratio 1 is to 2 here external division is there therefore we have to take minus sign between them okay also so that p is the midpoint of the line segment rq okay so p is the midpoint che pachi ni baat che pehla apne aap prove kariye to r which divide find the position vector of r so the position vector of R denotes as O R. Position vector of P is denoted as O P. So here the vector O P is given here. The position vector of point P is 2A bar plus B bar. And the position vector of Q is also given here. A bar minus 3B bar here. O P and O Q vectors are given here. Now it is given that R divides R divides line segment PQ in the ratio line segment PQ in the ratio one is to two externally one is to two externally. Okay. Therefore we can write. The position vector OR which is equals to M into OQ minus N into OP and OQ minus N OP divided by M minus N. Here M is equals to 1, N is equals to 2. Therefore, I will get which is equals to M1 into OQ vector a bar minus 3b bar minus of n that means 2 into vector op which is equals to 2a bar plus b bar divide by m minus n that means 1 minus 2 this is our position vector or now simplify this thing we are getting or which is equal to a bar minus 3b bar a bar minus 3b vector minus of 2 to the 4a and minus 2b vector divide by divide by minus 1 here simplify this thing we are getting or vector which is equal to a bar minus a bar minus 3a bar minus 5b bar divide by minus 1 if I am taking minus common then I will get the vector OR which is equals to 3A bar plus 5B bar this is the answer of first question position vector of R which divides the line segment PQ in the ratio 1 is to 2 externally ok now we have to prove that P is the midpoint of line segment R now, midpoint of line segment RQ, midpoint of line segment RQ, segment RQ is given as vector OR plus vector OQ divided by 2 here. So, the position vector of R plus position vector of Q divided by 2. Position vector of R is 3A vector plus 5b vector minus plus oq vector is here a vector minus 3b vector divided by 2 here ok so this is our oq plus or vector divided by 2 now simplify this thing 3a plus a which is equals to 4a plus 5ab minus 3b which is equals to 2b divided by 2 therefore I will get 
simplification to common and cancel out therefore we will get 2a vector plus b vector what is 2a vector plus b vector this is our vector op that means position vector of p therefore we are getting the midpoint of line segment rq which is our vector op therefore we can say that p is the midpoint of p is the midpoint of the line segment the line segment rq the line segment rq clear that is the tomorrow p midpoint of line segment rq okay तो आजी आ तो प्रूव थी जाए कई मिस्टेलिंग डिफिकल्ट नहीं ना वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर इलेवन एक्सरसाइज टेन सो देट द डायरेक्शन को साइंस ऑफ अ वेक्टर इक्वली इंक्लाइन टू द एक्सिस ओ एक्स मीन पॉजिटिव एक्सिस ओ वाई पॉजिटिव वाई एक्सिस एंड ओ जेड पॉजिटिव जेड एक्सिस आर वन बाय रूट थ्री वन बाय रूट थ्री वन बाय रूट थ्री ओके हियर हियर द गिवन वेक्टर द गिवन वेक्टर इज इक्वली इज इक्वली इंक्लाइन टू द एक्सिस इक्वली इंक्लाइन टू द एक्सिस दैट फोर वी कैन से दैट The angle made by this vector to the positive direction of x-axis, which is alpha, positive direction of y-axis, beta, and positive direction of z-axis is gamma. So alpha equals to beta equals to gamma here. Now we know that for the direction cosine, cos square alpha plus cos square beta plus cos square gamma, which is equals to one. Here alpha, beta, and gamma are equal. Therefore, we can write cos square alpha equals to cos square beta equals to cos square gamma. Therefore, we can use this property here. Cos square alpha plus cos square alpha plus cos square alpha, which is equals to one. Therefore, I will get three cos square alpha equals to one. Therefore, cos square alpha equals to 1 by 3. Therefore, I will get cos alpha equals to plus or minus 1 by root 3. Actually, my plus or minus R. But the one book my plus or minus nothing is do. So, I have to take plus by root 3. But the directions cosine R plus or minus 1 by root 3 R. But I have to take plus R. So, I have to take plus to prove that I am trying to do. So, cos alpha equals to 1 by root 3. Therefore, cos beta is also equals to 1 by root 3. cos beta is also equals to 1 by root 3 and cos gamma is also equals to 1 by root 3 therefore the direction cosine the direction cosine of given vector of a given vector r vector r 1 by root 3 1 by root 3 and 1 by root 3 here clear so these are the direction cosine we I think that tomorrow question eleven proof clear. Now the next question, exercise ten, question number ten, which is given here. The two adjacent sides of a parallelogram are given here. Suppose this is our parallelogram A B C D. This is our parallelogram A, B, C, and D. Two adjacent sides of parallelogram. This is vector A and this is vector B is given here. Here vector A, which is equals to two minus four and five, and vector B, which is equals to one minus two minus three. Find the unit vector parallel to its diagonal. This is the diagonal. Okay, we have to find the unit vector parallel to this diagonal. Parallel to this diagonal. That means first of all we have to obtain this diagonal and unit vector in the direction of this diagonal. That means parallel to this diagonal. 
how can we obtain this diagonal so we know that this diagonal is our vector a plus vector b the resultant vector of these two vectors by use of law of parallelogram therefore the diagonal the diagonal which is here vector ac which is equals to vector a plus vector b now vector a plus vector b which is equals to 2 plus 1 3 minus 4 minus 2 minus 6 and 5 minus 3 which is equals to 2 here this is our resultant vector ac now we want unit vector unit vector parallel to parallel to the diagonal parallel to the diagonal that means we have to obtain the vector ac divided by magnitude of vector ac here vector ac is that 3 minus 6 to divide by magnitude of vector ac is 9 plus 36 plus 4 which is equals to 3 minus 6 2 under root 36 plus 4 40 plus 9 49 means 7 therefore answer is 3 by 7 minus 6 by 7 and 2 by 7 is your unit vector parallel to the your diagonal okay now we have to find area of this parallelogram also how can we find the area of parallelogram so we know that area of parallelogram area of parallelogram which is equals to if two adjacent sides are given then the direct cross product of their adjacent sides or magnitude of cross product of a bar cross b bar so first of all you have to obtain a bar cross b bar now you have to obtain the a bar cross b bar first then you have to calculate its magnitude and its magnitude will represent an area of parallelogram a b c d here atlu kaam tamare jate karvano chhe bo easy che aavi jase clear have jaiye che apna next question par the next question is also simple question okay in this question let vector a is given here so the vector a is given here 1 4 and 2 vector b is also given here 3 minus 2 7 and vector c is also given here 2 minus 1 4 find a vector d which is perpendicular to both vector A and vector B and C bar dot D bar equals to 50. Now it is given that vector D is perpendicular to the vector A and vector B and C bar dot D bar which is equals to 15. That means three relations are given here. First two are perpendicular relations and the third one is given relation c bar dot d bar which is equals to 15 here okay so this type of question can be calculated by use of taking vector d now vector d apne assume kar liye let vector d which is equals to x y z so we have to obtain the value of x y and z by use of given conditions so here vector a is perpendicular to vector d therefore we can say that a bar dot d bar equals to 0 so a bar dot d bar a bar is given here 1 4 2 dot d bar x y z which is equals to 0 now simplify this thing we are getting x plus 4 y plus 2 z equals to 0 this is your first relation here three variables x y and z are there therefore we want at least three equations for solving this type of equation now it is also given that it is given that b bar is also perpendicular to vector d therefore we can say that b vector dot d vector is also equals to zero so what is b vector 3 minus 2 7 
dot d vector x y and z which is equals to 0 now simplify this thing we are getting 3x minus 2y plus 7z equals to 0 this is equation number 2 first equation second equation is ready now the, we are going for the third equation the given condition is now c bar dot d bar equals to 15 is given here c bar is here c bar is 2 minus 1 4 dot d bar x y and z here which is equals to 15 now simplify this thing to x minus y plus 4 z equals to 15 this is third equation third equation now you know very well how can we solve this type of linear equation by use of matrix matrix no use karina ki tame a equations ne solve kare so to tame a equation solve kar so by use of matrix this is your first equation this second equation third equation three variable linear equations pair of three variable linear equations and you have to solve this in your self practice and obtain the value of x y z by use of x is equals to a inverse into b here a is the matrix matrix by use of coefficients of variable x y and z matrix x equals to column matrix of x y z and matrix b equals to 0 0 15 on the right hand side constant term is there clear so I will tell you a question that you have to solve it. It is an easy question and it is easy to solve it. It is easy to solve it. It is easy to solve it. Okay? Now, we are going to discuss question number 15 here. Question number 15. So, exercise 10. Question number 15 already discussed. Question number 19 which is MCQ question. See here, question number 19 is theta is the angle, is the angle between, between any two vectors, any two vectors A bar and B bar, vectors, vector A and vector B, then magnitude of or modulus of a bar dot b bar which is equals to magnitude of a bar cross b bar when theta is equal to when theta is equals to blank option a is given 0 option b pi by 4 option c pi by 2 and option d pi is there okay see here Theta is the angle between any two vectors A bar and B bar. Okay. Here A bar dot B bar, magnitude of A bar dot B bar as well as magnitude of A bar cross B bar. Now we know that magnitude of A bar dot B bar is equals to magnitude of A bar cross B bar is given here. What is A bar dot B bar? A modulus of vector A into modulus of vector B into cos theta and it is in form of magnitude also okay so magnitude should have the terms positive as I said it will present zero here theta is acute uh, an angle between a bar and b bar so here theta is positive because acute angle is that because the magnitude is that okay so the magnitude should be cos theta and value positive as maybe person which is equals to magnitude of vector A into magnitude of vector B into sin theta. So A, B cancel out. Therefore, I will get cos theta which is equals to sin theta. So cos theta equals to sin theta. Therefore, we will get tan theta equals to 1. Therefore, theta equals to tan inverse 1. Therefore, I will get theta equals to pi by 4. Therefore, the angle between the angle between vector A and vector B, vector A and vector B is pi by 4. If the angle between them is pi by 4, then this relation is true. Otherwise, it is not true. Therefore, our right option is option B, pi by 4. 
क्लियर आ रीते क्वेश्चन सोलव कई टॉपिक नहीं सारू तो आज विडियो थैंक यू वेरी मच